When I was really young, my dad and I would play this game where we would make up a story. My dad would say maybe the first sentence, and then I would draw a picture to illustrate that. And then I would say the next sentence, and he would draw a picture, and we'd make up, and we would end up with like this little story that we made with pictures. And so I realized, wow, I grew up doing that. My dad taught me how to storyboard and didn't even know it. Today, I'm going to talk about storyboarding. Each drawing represents a progression in a whole complete sequence. And when you step back and look at the whole thing, you see how many drawings it takes to describe one action sequence in a movie. From the storyboards, we take those and we, get, we do what's called a story reel. And a story reel is essentially a slideshow of those drawings going by in real time as if you're watching a movie with temporary dialogue, temporary sound effects, and you watch this and you're able to see the film before it's actually made. So we have here Smurfette. I'll just pitch a little bit. of Smurfette looks up and she sees something off screen that's amazing to her. It really lives up to its name. You see this beautiful horizon. It's so magical. The sky, the trees. We're now over the shoulder of Brainy and Hefty as they watch her walk away. She goes, wow, wow, turns around, wow, isn't this beautiful? And then this flower comes in from off screen and grabs her. Whoa. Make that carnivorous smurf eating flowers. Smurf. Pulls her off and the boys go, wow. And then suddenly the pace is gonna be picked up. Clumsy's by himself and he's trying to get away. And then finally, it's Clumsy against the flowers. Clumsy's backing up. He's saying, nice flowers. Nice flowers. Flowers are getting closer right at camera, coming closer and closer and closer. And then he realizes, not nice flowers. Not he turns nice to run. Flowers. And when he does, <laughs> I would go and present this entire thing. So people go, OK, that's looking good. Let's now take it to story reel and see how it works on film. <laughs> Nice flowers. Nice flowers. Nice flowers. Smurfs The Lost Village took three and a half years to make. I would say a good two thirds of that was story development. And that story development happens during the storyboard phase. Your job is, is making up stories and and drawing pictures for a living. What could be better than that, you know?